Every choice we make echoes in the Force, falling into chaos. Balance of the Force. Numerous Star Wars narratives have elucidated the background and principles of the Jedi Order, while also exposing its most conspicuous shortcomings. The Jedi were portrayed in the first Star Wars film as the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic, and Yoda showed Luke Skywalker what it meant to have the Force on his side. But Return of the Jedi suggested that the Jedi were not as flawless as Luke had been taught to think by Obi-Wan and Yoda, and the prequel trilogy revealed more of the Jedi's shortcomings that ultimately resulted in their demise. Star Wars narratives in all media have persisted in highlighting more of the Jedi's most serious shortcomings. Due to these issues, the Star Wars franchise has produced some of its most engaging stories, showcasing ideologies and customs that deviate from Jedi orthodoxy. It has also given rise to several iterations of the Jedi Order in every period of the Star Wars canon, ranging from Luke's new Jedi Order in Legends to the High Republic era in canon. As James Mangold delves into the dawn of the Jedi era and Charmy Obeyed Chinoy presents Rhee's new Jedi Order, the next Star Wars films can also take a lesson from the mistakes made by the Jedi Order. The weaknesses of the Jedi Order are expertly depicted, and ten Star Wars stories innovate in how they interpret the Force. Star Wars The new Jedi Order by Matthew Stover The persona of Verger played a major role in how Traitor reinterpreted the Force. Verger, a covered Sith who was eventually exposed as a morally dubious figure, urged Jason Solo and the new Jedi Order to reevaluate their principles. For a while, Luke led his students investigate the idea of the unifying force, which saw the light and evil sides as symbolic rather than actual. But this was dangerously near to the heresy known as Potentium, which maintained that the dark side was human depravity and the light side was the force. Luke's GD order subsequently reverted to a more traditional methodology, but Jason ultimately became a scythe, as Verger had desired. Verger was correct to draw attention to the GD's narrow perspectives, but there were still a lot of facets of the Force that no one could ever fully understand. Since there would always be fresh riddles to solve, Jason studied under Force-sensitive groups all throughout the galaxy for five years. Though Verger was mistaken regarding the light and dark sides, she also cautioned the Jedi against being overly dogmatic in their beliefs, a mistake that ultimately resulted in the dissolution of the previous Jedi Order. Darth Trya One of the most fascinating Star Wars figures in Kraya was first introduced in Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic U, the Scythe Lords. Kraya was a former Jedi who frequently disapproved of the Council. She eventually lost confidence in the Order and became Scythe, only to have her apprentices betray her. She developed an intense dislike for the Jedi, the Scythe, and the Force itself, perceiving them as mere pawns in the Force's ceaseless endeavor to preserve equilibrium. Although there isn't much discussion of this interpretation of the Force in Star Wars, Kriya was not incorrect to perceive this as a problem considering the violent cycle between the light and dark sides. By the end of Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, Cal Kestis had changed his mind about bringing the Jedi back. As the late Jedi Terra Malikos correctly pointed out, the Jedi were stifled by tradition and had lost their way long before Order 66. Deafened by the glory of our history, war is blinding us. The game also accepted the fact that many Jedi would either die or succumb to the evil side, and that fresh pupils would probably meet the same end if Kestis went after them. Re-examining these concepts in Star Wars Jedi, Survivor, Kestis and his companions decided to put more of an emphasis on aiding people than on re-establishing the Jedi Order.